Hey, I am Blur. Today let's learn how to use Transform. Enter the editing screen. Import a clip. Select the clip. Tap Transform. There are position, scale, rotate, tilt and anchor point. The position shows the coordinate of the clip on the screen. Here we take the 16,9 frame and 1080p resolution project as an example. This is the origin. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. The default parameters for position of the clip are the half of the frame. The x-axis controls the horizontal movement. The y-axis controls the vertical movement. The value of each axis is pixel. The scale controls the size of the clip. This is the uniform scale by default. You can adjust horizontal and vertical values separately when it's unlocked. The clip will rotate around the center point by default. The parameters in rotate decide the degrees. Every 360 degrees is a round. There are two parameters in tilt. Slant is the degrees of tilt. Skew is the angle of tilt. The anchor point is the center point for the clip to transform. It affects the position, scale, and rotate. The anchor point of a layer is at the center by default. You can drag the anchor point directly on the editing screen. If you turn on 3D for your clip, there will be a Z-axis in position. The Z-axis is for forward to backward movement. And there are X-axis and Y-axis in rotate. The X-axis is for top to down rotation. The Y-axis is for left to right rotation. The Z-axis is for regular rotation. Then let's make an outro and intro by adjusting position and scale. Adjust graph to make the movement smoother. There are already some graphs in blur. Turn on motion blur for your clip to make the motion smoother. You can tap the three dot in the top right corner to copy parameters. Then select another clip to paste parameters or save it as preset and use on another clip. You can also add the transform in effects for your clips. There are many presets used transform in Blur Playground for you to download and use for your clips. See you.